Hey guys, this is Rick. I hope you're having a great day. This is just a personal video log for November the 23rd, 2017. Right, it's a quite a nice day outside, a bit of blue sky for a change. Um, I'm actually waiting in for some delivery, so I can't actually go out, which is a bit annoying. Um, but what I decided I'm gonna do today is I'm gonna uh, clean these boots. Uh, these are my kind of medieval um, re well, sort of reenactment boots. Uh, I bought them basically for LARPing and I tried them out while I was camping last time and they're, they were really, really good. Now these were only cheap things. I think they were about um, 45 or 50 pounds. Um, I guess that's about $80 US. Um, and uh, they're incredibly comfortable as well. They've got this uh, neoprene lining all the way inside and uh, they, they managed to stay completely dry. Um, but as an extra measure, I've actually got some spray on uh, waterproofing, but obviously I need to get these cleaned before I put it on. So I'm gonna have a go at doing that now and I'll probably just have a natter like I did with the shelves. I'll have a natter while I, uh, while I work. Now I have my scan on Monday and uh, unfortunately, or, f or fortunately, depending on which way you look at it, um, gallstones have been confirmed. I, I, I saw on the scan, she showed me on the picture, there's this huge great gallstone um, that I've got in, in the gallbladder. And uh, so I've, uh, I've got a follow-up appointment coming up, but it's going to be a month before I can see anyone. Um, but it's, it's not too big of a deal because I'm not in a lot of pain, so it's not such a, uh, an issue. But it does look like I may have potentially have surgery in my future. Uh, possibly um, maybe early next year I'm thinking but I've had so much um, sort of encouragement and support for it for ev from everybody on Facebook so thanks guys for all your your words of encouragement lots of people um, have said that they've actually had the gallbladder surgery and it's given them kind of a new lease of life I know a lot of you guys have been suggesting sort of, um, you know, non, non-surgery non alternatives. People are talking about like apple cider vinegar and all sorts of other flush treatments and things you can do. And uh, if I'm honest, um, I'm just thinking, I'm just gonna have, the, gonna have the gallbladder removed and be done with it. Um, two of my sisters, because it runs in my family, two of my sisters have had their gallbladders removed and they never looked back. They, you know, they said it was the best thing ever. And it sort of um, put paid to sort of years of, of issues um, so I'm kind of hoping that's going to be the case right there we go they're looking pretty good I've actually bought this uh, boot polish stuff uh, restores and polishes uh, so what I was thinking of doing was um, rubbing this into the boot unfortunately I got dark brown uh, I didn't realize I thought it was black and uh, but I'm, I'm pretty sure it's not going to show up and if it does I don't think it matters um, it might even might even kind of add to the look of them because um, I say that these are for LARPing um, So anyway, what I do is I'll, I'll polish some of this stuff into it and then I'm going to spray on some of that um, Waterproofing stuff and hopefully uh, they should serve me really well for the next LARP event which is coming up in April now I've been having a little play with the uh, the bookshelf um, it's kind of seems to be this living uh, thing at the moment where I think it keeps constantly changing um, because I I'm sort of love everything um, about the Japanese culture I decided to get myself a little a little ornament the Japanese thing so I got this uh, this Tori I think it's called a Tori and I also got a lucky cat um, now whenever I've gone into the um, the Asian supermarket around the corner um, uh, they've always got one of those in the door and I looked up the the story behind it because I've seen these so often I've never really understood what they're about and basically the from what I've read the the legend goes that there was this this little old lady who owned a shop and it was in very poor times back in uh, I don't know what sort of period it was in the Japanese history but um, the idea was that she adopted this stray cat and the cat was so grateful to her that it would sit in her window um, every day and it would try to beckon in customers and uh, so that's the the uh, the theory behind the uh, the waving cat now in Japan as far as I'm aware correct me if I'm wrong but in Japan this actually means uh, it's like a beckoning symbol uh, it's like you know come in come here whereas over here in the Western world this generally means goodbye um, but in Japan it means the opposite so uh, that's what the cat's doing it's kind of beckoning in good luck and good fortune so there we go that's why I've got the waving cat on the uh, on the shelf here 
Right, I think those have dried out nicely. Let's uh, let's go in and see if we can uh, get them polished up a little bit. I think what I'll do is uh, I'll get some cardboard on the table there and I'll do it there. Right, let's give this a go, shall we? Uh, let's try with this one. Could do with a bit more light. I've, uh, I've done a thing. Um, Black Friday on Amazon was here, so I, I managed to get one of those um, those plugs cheap. So uh, if you've got an Alexa, you can you can have voice activated lights now. So Alexa, turn on the lamp. Okay. How cool is that? <laughs> right, I think I'm just going to use a cloth and I'm just going to apply this. Right, there we go. That's that one covered. Let's just do this one. Now, I don't know if you guys um, use the uh, the Amazon Echo. Um, I've had one for a number of years, actually. I actually imported one from America when they first come out. And uh, you can probably see it sat on the shelf there. And I use it all the time for listening to music, uh, which is useful. And it's a really good like kitchen timer and a reminder, because I'm so forgetful. It's so helpful. Um, in helping me to remind you know remind me to do things like if I've got just simple everyday things like if I've got the washing in so often I'll go to lock up at night and realize that the washing still sat in the in the washer I haven't put it in the tumble dryer so um, I just basically when I put the washing on or whatever I just say look I ask her to remind me you know in an hour's time to take out the washing and stuff like that and it's just it's all the little things it's just it's just stupid little things but they kind of make life just that little bit um more i would say manageable that's just that sounds so tragic doesn't it but um it just makes life easier and i kind of anything that makes life easier i'm kind of i'm quite happy to embrace now i know there are uh conspiracy theories about you know sort of having these listening devices in your homes and to be honest i'm i'm sure a lot of it is true i, I you know um it wouldn't surprise me put it that way if some of it was true and do I care? Maybe at one point, you know, years ago, I, I went down the whole rabbit hole thing years ago when the internet started getting rife with all the, you know, the alternative news and, and all the rest of it. And I kind of came back out again when I realized it was just, it was, well, it was just a waste of, <laughs> a waste of life. And sometimes you just have to sort of, you know, acknowledge, yet yeah, perhaps some of this stuff goes on, but you know, what can you do about it and i know that's what they want us to think and that's sort of part of the controlling mechanisms if you're into all that stuff um but i see people who who fight this stuff and sort of are out there protesting and uh you know and you know if if that's in your blood to be kind of you know spend your life kind of fighting this stuff and fighting the good cause and all the rest of it that's that's great but unfortunately that's just not in my it's not in my wiring you know my brain isn't wired for that sort of thing i i am a, a lifelong anxiety sufferer the stupidest little things and i start to shut down you know i'm um i'm not a uh, the sort of i don't have the kind of brain that can sort of deal and cope with that and i think that's just a, a you know common sense it's just kind of a know thyself thing or know yourself thing well there we go that looks okay a um, little bit shiny but that's okay all right so I'll just do the other one and then I'm gonna get some of that spray um, stuff on hopefully these should serve me well in the uh, like I say the upcoming well I say upcoming it's still April uh, the next LARP event the Empire event um, because there is a quite a wet area in the field is I think there's actually like a natural a water course uh, in the in the kind of the, the dip part of the um, the whole site and there's just this really wet area and I know at the last event you literally had to wade through it and you, you would literally you, it would be this deep um, so my main concern is around the the zip area here I'm assuming that's where if I'm going to get any water ingress it's going to be there so I'm going to concentrate quite heavily with the waterproofing on that bit there so if they serve me well I'll be happy um, especially as the fact they were like they were quite cheap ones as as boots go um, I think like I say I think they're only about 50 pounds so there we go look, even even though this, that was brown boot polish and not black um, they look absolutely fine right let's uh, 
Let's go out in the garden and see if we can sort of spray that waterproof stuff on them. Right, it's really windy outside, so I've had to step into the shed. Um, otherwise, it, any, any spray that comes out of here would be blown away before it uh, actually hits the boot. So there we go, that's it from Rickworld for now. Don't forget, this is a variety channel. I do uh, videos on whatever subject, uh, whatever I'm doing at the time. Whenever I feel like picking up a camera and filming it, um, I will just generally film whatever it is I'm doing at the time. So I don't make all the same video. You know, it's not all camping video. It's not all driving in the van videos. It's just, you know, it's kind of like, think of it as like a lucky dip channel. And uh, it's been like that for the last sort of decade and no doubt it will be like that for the rest of the time. And that's, I think, to be honest, doing it that way is the way I've managed to keep going for 10 years, because I think if I did the same thing again and again and again, that would get incredibly tedious and, uh, and dull, not only for myself, but for you guys watching as well. So I like to kind of, you know, mix things up a bit and uh, keep things a little bit different. So anyway, there we go, that's it. Thanks for watching, guys. Have a great rest of the day, and I'll see you in the next video. Until then, take care.